Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking more at the car program, and we're going to add some methods and functions, and we're going to start building the user interface. Now the user interface is going to change throughout the making of the program as we progress through the certain stuff that we can do with cars and um, whatever else we add to the program. So let's come over here to form1.bb, and we'll go ahead and we will add a button and we will add a, another button okay so the first button we're just going to set it to the value I mean we're just going to set the text value to name and we'll set the button name to button set name and we'll do color for the second one so button set color in the name field and then we'll do button set name in the next field, I mean the text field, or not button set name. What was? It? Let's just put color. Okay, so we got name and color right here. And then we'll add a, another button that we will we will be um, removing this button later on, but for now we're going to use it. Um, so let's go ahead and set the text to show info. And we'll set the name to button show car info. Okay, so now let's access the button set name click event. So whenever they want to set the name for it, let's just go ahead and use the default car for that. So we need we're gonna need a name um, member inside of our car class. So we'll just type public car name as string. So now that we have our car name, let's go ahead and set the name. So we will type input box. The prompt will be um, please enter the name of your car. And for the name, we'll just use like car types like a Mustang or a, a Camaro or something like that. Uh, we will set the title to name, uh, the default response to nothing, and then leave the rest the same. And so now we're going to need to store that inside of a variable. But we could skip over the process of storing it inside a variable and just directly access the car name from our default car. So we'll type default car dot car name equals whatever is sent back from that inbox I mean input box so we'll come back here and we'll do that again for the color so we'll type default car dot color equals input box and we will ask them to uh, enter the color okay so now let's just access the show info button click so whenever they want to show the info let's just type default car or we'll type message box dot show the text will be default car dot to string and then title will be info okay so now we need to come in here to our car class and we need to overwrite uh, the function to string. So let's go ahead and type overwrite to string. So we will type public overrides to string as string. And so instead of returning a value converted to a string, let's go go ahead and return. Uh, let's return the color, the name, and the speed. So we'll type car name, and then we will add the name of the car. Then we'll go ahead and add a new line by typing environment dot new line. We'll go ahead and add the color. 
So car color. And then we'll go ahead and add color. And then we'll add the speed. So let's add a new line here environment dot new line and we'll type car speed and then we'll go ahead and add int speed okay so now whenever the two string function is called it's going to show us all the information we need to know about the car so let's go ahead and run this it's going to show us red which we left over from our last tutorial so the default color is red now let's go ahead and set the name of the car so let's just call it um, Mustang GT500. We'll go ahead and click OK. We will set the color of the car. We'll set it to, um, let's say, yellow and black. And then we'll go ahead and click OK. Now let's show the info and see what we get. We get the car name, which is Mustang GT500. The car color is yellow and black, and our car speed is zero because we haven't told it to um, accelerate. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. So if you haven't put this code in, uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, you can comment in if you want, and then if you understand it, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.